Um, because tomorrow is the last day for General Mark Milley in his post as chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Um, in a posting on a social media platform, Donald Trump said Milley's back channel communications with the Chinese general was a, quote, treasonous act so egregious that in times gone by, the punishment would have been death. In a 60 Minutes interview that will air this Sunday, General Milley says this. Listen. Look, I'm, I'm a soldier. Uh, I've been faithful and loyal to the Constitution of the United States for 44 and a half years. Uh, and my family and I have sacrificed greatly for this country, my mother and father before them. And, you know, as, as much as these comments are directed at me, it, it's also directed at the institution of the military. Um, and there's, there's 2.1 million of us in uniform. And, and the American people can take it to the bank that all of us, every single one of us, from private to general, were loyal to that Constitution and will never turn our back on it no matter what. Jason, what do you make of this extraordinary back and forth? I mean, you know, there's not that much to say. It's it's reprehensible what, what Trump said to be throwing around that kind of uh, violent um, language. Um, you know, it's it's just... Um, it's just terrible. Um, you know, he and he and Mark Milley is, is retiring, like you said. And um, so he's, uh, I guess that's what set, what sent Trump off. I mean, I almost don't even want to say anything, anything else about Mark Milley or this relationship, because I think all that needs to be said is, you know, <laughs> the, uh, pre it's, it's, we're in a bad place when a presidential candidate is, is throwing around language like that.